Right, so this part is pretty much straightforward because I have most of the stuff written down for you and I'm going to put a link in the description um, below this video. Uh, so what we're going to do is use a template code that I have instead of you adding all the code and you just watch me type all the code and we're just going to alter that code to fit this project that we currently have. So we're going to download the drag and drop code currently that I have up there for you and then we're going to paste that into our development uh, environment. So in order to make sure we have that developer tab available, you should already know this uh, from the previous videos and if you haven't seen it, if you don't see this developer tab, you right click on this um, ribbon you go to customize the ribbon. Once you hit customize ribbon, you can go here and select on developer and then click on OK. And then you'll see this developer tab there. When you see that, then you want to hit view code. All right. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a module. When I have this brand new module here, I'm going to take that code that I downloaded from the link I gave you guys and paste it in there. All we need to now do here is find these areas. So the first area we want to find, and I think I put it all in caps here, enter the slide number here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that, hit control F, and then I'm going to go here to replace and I'm going to, right now I'm on slide two, as I can see over here, so I'm just gonna replace that with the number two. And because this is specific, enter slide number here, I'm gonna replace all of those, and it replace six of those, okay. Then I am going to scroll down and search for some other ones, which other ones? Enter info shape here. So this is the shape that's gonna give me some information, okay. so. I don't have an info shape, so I need to make one. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this shape here, and I'll proclaim that this is my info shape by changing the name to info. And then removing any text I have in there. And then I'm gonna go back to my code, and then I'm going to find this, wherever I am, and then hit Control F, and it paste that inside of this area and then I'm going to replace and then I'm going to put info replace all it replaced two and then I'm going to add good job message here I'm going to just go ahead and put a good job there in quotes So all I need to do, do here is replace all of those with info, replace all. And then I'm going to find the next one. Okay, so I have my info replaced. Here's my add sorry message. So sorry you didn't finish, you know. Um, sorry, not the correct position or oh, whatever. You know, put a message up there for children. Not this technical stuff that I'm doing here. But the only thing I think I do need to change is here because this info should not be just straight info. It should be in quotes. And then I'm going to select my image A. I'm just going to drag it out. And then I'm going to insert action, macro, drag and drop. Hit that. And now all I need to do is test it. So there we go. If I place it right. So there we have it. Now all I need to do is go ahead and move these around. And then I just need to add the, you know, the insert action drag and drop to all of these. Insert action macro 
drag and drop. So on and so forth. You get the picture. Then I hit F5. I can run this. Put this one here. Wherever this goes, you know, people are going to try to figure it out. Oh, maybe that goes there. Oh, wait, look at the head. That goes here. Oh, no, that looks weird. I'm going to put that over here. You know, they're going to be talking to themselves like they lost their minds. All right, so... We basically have our drag and drop game. I didn't do all of them, but you get the idea. All you need to do is change that code, make the uh, initial changes that I made on that, uh, well, the secondary changes that I made on the word info, and then you have yourself a drag and drop game. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys next time. Leave any comments you have in the comment section below. Make sure you watch some more of my videos, and make sure you subscribe, share these videos. See you guys next time. Bye.